Oh, now he sneaked in the kick. But no such luck. I guess I pushed him way too far. I guess I just blatched you in the nuts. Why? Yeah, all right, everybody, hold on to your butts. We are here today checking out the sequel to Bright Memory, which is going to be Bright Memory Infinite. And I forgot, I honestly forgot just exactly the voodoo that this developer... Now, mind you, Bright Memory 1 was a single developer project. I'm not sure if now there's more people in the studio, but I forgot the type of voodoo magic this developer used to make Bright Memory happen, because that game played amazing, looked amazing, with very minimal specs required. Today we're checking out Infinite, the sequel, and now mind you, I saw trailers of this in action as it was coming up for release, and, you know, I never believed trailers. They're all bull shots to me, you know what I'm saying? I see him, it's like, oh yeah, I'm sure the game's gonna look exactly like that when I play it, right? Shelia, according to info from the front lines, General Lin's unit has arrived at the scene. General Lin? The top dog at SAI. They say that tech-wise, even we here at SRO can't hold a candle to his guys. So if they showed up, that means there must be more to the situation than it seems. I've locked in the flight coordinates. We'll be arriving at the designated airspace in 10 seconds. Follow your instructions and activate the warp drive. Three, two, one, activate. We've arrived in the target airspace. The sky is full of thick clouds, and we've got strong winds and lightning. Everything is fine for the moment. No issues. Begin preparations for descent. Dr. Chen, I managed to escape the aircraft. I can see a massive black hole up ahead. A black hole? Understood. I'll inform the other team members. For now, find a safe place to descend. Shelia, this is Wake. I'm headed to your coordinates now. What's the situation? I'm doing all right. Okay, I'll contact you again later. Yeah. All right, so the one thing about this game, which I was impressed by really, is just Shelia, how it looks, but- the anomalies with a black hole. Go ahead, Shen, cut me off. up a whole mountain. But apart from the rain, there's nothing unusual over here. The theory of relativity states that the greater the mass of an object, the more it slows down the flow of time. That means the time in that area must have been fixed several hours ago. So it's not just how it looks, but the performance with how it looks. Like, a game like this, like I got everything maxed out, I will talk about the specs here pretty soon. Come here, my friend. I will talk about the specs here pretty soon, but a game like this usually maxed out would have my PC screaming at me. As a matter of fact, a lot of you guys have pointed out to me in the past where you've heard fans in the background. That's usually my GPU when I have like a game maxed out for you guys for, you know, visual quality. But here, it's like everything's maxed out. My PC, I think it's quiet. Now, mind you, I do have like noise canceling headphones on, so it's sometimes really hard for me to pick up fans when it comes to like PC noise. But right now, I'm pretty sure it's quiet, and considering everything that you can see on screen right now, it's pretty amazing. Now, mind you, there are, like, certain things... Repel shot. Ooh, right back at you, huh, buddy? There are certain things the game does to kind of be able to pull this off without necessarily spending too much, and I think that is going to be, and when it comes to uh, linear stages, 
there's no open world concept here. This, oh, jeez. You know what? There is still a lot of dudes trying to kill me. Pal. Take this guy's head off. Give me a second here so we'll talk more about. Excuse me? How how dare you refer to me as a female dog? Oh, okay. Homeboy's still alive somehow. Come here, buddy. Oh. Get a little bit of coverage here, and we'll get back to the uh, specs talk here pretty soon. Let's just uh, get rid of the danger that we got here. Up, 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 up. Sprint out of the way on that one. There goes that head. We good? Ooh. I guess that's right there a really good representation, by the way, of how the game looks. All the action is taking. Is there really a guy alive still? Oh, there is. How did you survive this entire mess? All the action that's going on, and there's no slowdown whatsoever in my PC. Yeah, actually, I removed my headphones on momentarily. It's not yelling at me and my GPU isn't going crazy. That's what's really impressive about this, that he can keep this fidelity with the performance. That's what I'm mostly just really, really impressed by. Shelia, you got several hostiles headed your way. Roger. <laughs> oh, big boy. So these will be dudes that you gotta counter because they got a little bit of, um... Well, as you can see, defense on them. So if you could just do this, thank you very much. We could also, as we learn, launch you into the air and just slice you up there. And execute. Baller. Absolutely baller. Yeah, I know about dodging, ready, pal? Yeah, I know about dodging, ready, pal? I like that you can just stop, keep them midair, and just blat them up there as well. It's amazing. The magnetic field is unstable. I can't get a lock on your signal. Wake should be arriving in the vicinity. You're gonna have to rely on him. Understood. I'm currently heading toward the black hole. General Lin has a huge team with him, so... It may take some time since there's the possibility of an encounter. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be able to, like, pierce through, um... Okay. Armor. Report immediately so. if anything happens. If you're not so good, apparently, at getting those parries off to reduce their armor, you can do it that way. So when it comes to specs, right now I'm running at 1440, everything maxed out. I was going to try 4K, but, you know, I I didn't give this game enough credit. I thought, no way I could do this at 4K, everything maxed out. So I got to, something I got to try afterwards, I have to imagine. But right now, 1440, everything maxed out. PC is running silently. Yep. The one thing I will admit, though, is that it's supposed to have um, ray tracing technology on it or whatever you want to call it, whatever that meme is. Now, for me at the moment, it's not available. I think it's because the game hasn't released just yet, so I do have a preview build, so it hasn't, like, you know, hit the, I guess, NVIDIA. Come here, buddy. So I'm not sure which ray tracing, this would definitely get more of a performance issue. Plus, not only that, but probably more visually impressive. But at the moment, we are rolling with uh, no RTX on, so I guess I should mention that. That said, it's not like it looks like it requires it, does it? I would say not. Come here, buddy. You gonna sneak in it again? Oh, now he's sneaked in the kick. But no such luck. I guess I pushed him way too far. I guess I just blast you in the nuts. Why? But obviously, uh, one of the things I should mention, there's very linear movement in this game. Like, you know, you can't go out of, like, say, like, where the game wants you to go to quote-unquote explore. I'm pretty sure that is where the game is able to save itself a lot of uh, resources when it comes to how it's going to perform for you. So everything is very linear. You're, you're going to be following basically from point A to point B. You're going to be on rails a little bit for the most part. But that's where the game, I guess, is able to make something like this happen. Without necessarily having to render an entire world, you could have got to explore. So if you're okay with that, it's one of the sacrifices you got to make in order for a game to look this great. Not only that, but also play this great as well. And I'm pretty sure this is a Chinese developer. I'm telling you, man, I played... I forget the two names of the games that I played during the last Steam Indie Fest, but there were two Chinese games that I played. And good God, were they freaking impressive. And I'm looking forward to them. And this here again, another Chinese game. Like, you know, they're, they're tapping into the market quite well. Don't necessarily want you sniping me either. 
Got him. E not sure if we got him. That's not a really good grenade toss, my dude. Like, I know you're trying to get it to me, but apparently you landed it somewhere down there. Not really that impressive, I would say. Come here, pal. Escape through the window. It's gonna be our exit right there. Bad side. Director Chen, an airliner engulfed in flames just passed overhead. According to the satellite data, that area is experiencing strong electromagnetic interference. Be careful. The village is flooded. And there are high voltage lines still in the water. How do I get to the opposite shore? Well, your power unit contains a particle wire ejection system. Give me a minute while I remotely unlock it. Uh, let's grapple across. <laughs> Electrical water, of course. We want to avoid that. Hello, my friend. Oh, and it's now teaching me about the MP thing, which we've already been doing. Shelia, there are several enemy ships closing in. What should I do? The ship's armor is weak. You should be able to. Oh, we can just blow it up. All right. Oh, I see you. Get over here. You saw him try to beep his head over. No, it's not gonna work, my friend. That's not gonna work. See about trying to blow this up. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Two oh, hey. There you go. I'll handle it. This guy out of the way first. Can't shot across. Good God, what do you have like a freaking machine gun over there or what? You're, you're in his Gatling action. All right, let's pop up. Oh, there's two boats. No one. There's one boat. One more to go. One more to go. Okay. Yep. Boys, please. I'm trying to. You know what? Let's go meet these dudes mano a mano here. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, uh, we're gonna give this a try. Director Chen, there are just too many hostiles. No problem. Wake will back you up. Huh? I think this is part of the trailer I saw. Yeah, they'll be focusing on the signal flare. Now is your chance. Roger, I'll take care of this now. <laughs> this is it like stealth time or what? Shelly, come on. Oh, this is totally a trailer. Oh, let's go, buddy. Let's go. Is there another guy behind me? Yeah, there's two of them at least. So let's see. Got the parry. Blad him. All right. What about you? Should have probably reloaded before this. Good point. Got him. Oh, there's a dude behind next to me. Big dude is gone, that's good at least. We have skills, not that really the time for skills. Now you guys don't have any armor, so that's good. You know what? I'm thinking for you guys, we could probably just... Fly a quick... Oh, you know what? Is it possible for me to just uh, EMP you guys? Yes. I'm not sure if the big guy is capable of being EMP'd, but at least these dudes can be. Excellent. As a matter of fact, try it again. Oh yeah. A lot easier. Now, do you also die from the blast? No. It won't propel you, but not enough for the kill. You can't jump up there with you, though. Yeah, we'll stick to the blade for these guys. Of course, if it doesn't work, well, different story then. Big dude is back. Alright, pal. Don't worry. Got a gun with your name on it. Gotta reload it first, though. See about taking out your pal first. Hey, come here. All right, one on one. Let's go. Melee. Oh, you missed it. Can't believe you missed it. What's happening now? Shelia, spawn. 
Director Chen, this is Shelia. What happened? I ended up in this strange Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Was Chen. attacked by some kind of ancient soldiers. Are you okay? Yes. What happened to the hostiles? They headed off toward the source of the signal flare. That's a strange phenomenon. I'll let the others know. All right, let's see about unlock new skills here. Exo unit arm and the old light blade. So we got two. Let's test out our longer EMP. That's what's up. Come here, pal. <laughs> that is what you want to see. All right, so it seems we got to go up through there. Then we got to wall jump down below. We got it. No ambushes, not just yet. Yeah, it seems to be another wall jump situation here. Oops. Not a good time for the MP when there's a dude right in front of me. Hey, right, come here. Oh, look at this dude. With a lance and everything. You don't bring a lance to a gunfight, dude. You actually can damage him with the gun. Oh, you know what? Let's see if we can try. Let's take care of all those nuisances, huh? Got the dodge rolls and everything, too. So the fire worked out pretty good. It did seem to actually reduce. It bypassed the armor, is what the fire did. So we never really had to kind of like parry him to remove the armor completely. So that's the only way to kind of go about it. <sighs> so he's going to get me. I keep trying to hit F all the time for my blade. I don't know what it is. There's something in my brain that's telling me F is blade, even though... We should be fully aware by now it's not. It's not at all. Um. Oh, you got trapped into the geometry, huh? <laughs> How about that? I hope he's really dead. Oh, you're back. Can I? No. I guess that armor keeps you from being, uh, propulsed away, huh? Got him. Go back. One more parry. Got him! Parry's always so good. I'll be looking here. I guess I'll switch over to the shotgun for now. Hey, pal. How you doing? Proceed through the gap in the wall. Let's go for it. Message for Bravo. Let me know if you spot a girl with a ponytail. Roger that. All clear here. Over. Yeah, not for long, though, huh? Hey, boys. Ah, oh, grenades, huh? Oh, you're back. Of course you're back. All right, hold on. You know how it is. We'll deal with you once we got your friends out of the field. Go for it. Oh, nice. I was worried about that overhead attack. We could parry it, so. Now, I saw another upgrade over there I want to pick up. It's kind of screams boss battle, doesn't it? Or at least ancient warriors of some kind. Alright, pal. You know the routine, don't you? I'm curious. Oh, you know what? The exploding shells that track do a good number on you. I'm finally getting some use out of them. Actually, very, very strong. Like, it's a matter of fact, I feel like it's a bit too strong that I kind of want to switch over to my regular gun now. Just because. Too easy, perhaps? Oh, cool. I've actually broken a shield, too. Bury the overhead. That's what's up. Enter the temple. Shelia, how's the situation? Everything okay? No problems here. Where's the next target? 
There's a road just outside the temple. In the back. Head that way. It's like a character's very chill. Eh, no problem. You know, just interdimensional ancient warriors showing up out of nowhere and I'm taking care of them fairly easily. Other than that, no problem. <laughs> Just another day at the job. It's like water cooler talk, really. Alright, that said, how long have I been going here? Feels like I've been going for a while. But there's just so much action always happening in this game, I never have a chance to actually stop. To actually look. Oh yeah, but we're over time with this. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This has been Bright Memory Infinite. Obviously, in the hands of a skilled player, you could probably do a lot of crazy stuff in this game, as you've seen already. Just with my very, very terrible FPS skills, but... Oh, do we got something special here happening? If we have a boss fight, I'll hang out for the boss fight. <laughs> oh, that feels like a boss fight. Alright, never mind. We'll stick around for it. Who are you? Beat me and I'll tell you. You sound confident. S saw a proc there momentarily. Is it just me? Oh, you know, I think it was for the weapons around me. Gotcha. Now, is there anything we gotta worry about here? It does seem you lose armor. From bullets. That's good to know. Um, it does seem you take damage from blade slashes as well. She almost feels a bit too cheap when it comes to your armor, unless you regain armor afterwards. Could be a possibility. Now, how do you like the tracking shells, I wonder? Oh yeah, he's taking damage by the numbers. <laughs> um, track, please. We're supposed to track him up above. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, your armor does come back, of course. So we can have like different phases. We have to go through the armor each time, and then you'll probably use something different and special for us. Gotcha. This does insane damage to your ammo, to your armor, though. There goes the last of that. Now, can we combo him to the end? Good question. I think we swap over to our next gun, though. And let's see if perhaps... Fire does anything to him. Although he does seem to be very much engrossed in fire. Oh, well, there he is. Ah. The armor not really going away, though. So it does seem that for the automatic... Tracking shells are definitely going to be the ones that we need for armor damage. This does seem to stun lock them in place, though. So we could probably do that. Time's up. That's all. <laughs> Meet me at Drancon Pavilion in one hour. Shelia, there's a hurricane closing in. Evacuate the area. Do I have a secure route? You should be able to see a mountain from behind the temple. Head there. That said, the word of time, I'm going to wrap it up here. At least we got that boss battle out of the way. See, very simple enough, to be honest with you. It, it almost feels like you're slightly overpowered, <laughs> to be honest. Like, uh, your skills are tremendous. And it seems like if you go down the right path to even upgrade more of this, um, say, armor-destroying bolts that we've done, oof, definitely be in your favor. That being said, all the information for this will be down below in case you enjoyed it and want to pick it up for yourselves. Freaking impressive, what can I say? I'll catch you guys next time.